How's it going guys? Larry here. I'm going to give you a matchup chart on Falco. This isn't going to be an April Fool's joke this time like it was yesterday. So, um, yeah, this is just going to be my opinions on Falco. And I think it will kind of help you understand where I think he is in the meta currently. Um, I'll slightly go over like what like I... I I mean when I like put certain characters in a category and then I'll finally you know I'll hop into it and tell you what I think about some of his matchups so oh one other thing um the reason why I don't have a webcam let me show you like it, it just covers the uh like the like the bottom part of the matchup chart and I would rather you <laughs> see the rest of the matchup chart than see me so yeah I, that's why I don't have the webcam but yeah um let me explain what these mean so slight advantage the way i think of it is basically it's just i think he loses but i don't think he loses bad enough to where you would probably or where you would want to switch characters or where it feels like it's like a super super bad matchup basically i feel like both characters have tools to win the matchup but the character or, but Falco has kind of a little bit less tools to win the matchup. So, again, not bad. Doable, a little bit tough, but not bad. And I'm sure you've noticed I don't have any matchup worse than that. It's because I don't think Falco has any matchup worse than Slight Disadvantage. Um, even Slight Disadvantage, basically, this is just me being on the fence about a matchup. Um, yeah, it's just me being on the fence and then just being too lazy to <laughs> put Slight Disadvantage or even, because... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> like, you, like one day I think this, the other day I think that. So that's why I have that there. Um, even I feel like I shouldn't have to explain what this means. It means matchups dead even. Like where, if both players play like you know to the best of their abilities, the better player will almost always win. So I feel about that. Even slight advantage, kind of the same thing, but the other way around for Falco. So that means he, you know, he has the advantage. Or sorry, yeah, it, yeah. Even our has the advantage, I'm just on the fence and too lazy. And then slight advantage, same thing as slight disadvantage, but this time it's in favor of Falco. And then we go to advantage. So if I have a character put in advantage, it means that I believe I could be playing, I could be playing off and still win the matchup. So I do think the the character who has the disadvantage they could still win. But, or yeah, the character who has a disadvantage could still win, but I just believe they're going to have to work like a good amount harder than, than Falco in order to win the matchup. Um, yeah, so bef I'll say one other thing and I'll actually get started on the list, uh, the matchup chart. Um, remember, this is my opinion. Obviously, you might disagree with me. You might, you might agree with me. I'm, I'm just giving you my opinion. That's it. If you agree or disagree, I, you know, it's whatever. I don't, I don't care. <laughs> I don't like, I, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> it's, uh, it's whatever. You can think what you want. I can think what I want. It's the beauty of this game. We all have different opinions on it. Same thing with tier list. Um, but yeah, anyways, let's get into it. So, do Falcon first. Even, I think this is a pretty even matchup. Um, I think Falcon beats Falco in neutral, but I also feel as though Falcon... It's a funny thing about Falcon is that I don't think... I don't think the uh, the recovery buff did anything to him in this matchup, believe it or not. Um, I still think... I still think um, Falcon gets edgeguarded just as hard as he did before, because in, in, in the matchup, Falco shouldn't really be, um, you know, getting hit by Falcon's up B anyways. He should be able to consistently hit him with forward air or down air to get edge guards. And that's kind of why I think the matchup is even. So although Falcon w wins neutral and has, you know, he has a good advantage, I feel like Falco's advantage is actually better than Falcon's. On top of the fact that he can also edge guard Falcon better than he than, uh, Falcon can do it to him. Um... That's, yeah, that's like a, a slight, a short gist of the matchup, in my opinion. Oh, also, um, a lot of the matchups I'm going to mention 
<laughs> um, the reason why Falco, like if like if Falco has like a really big advantage, it's normally because he wins neutral. I feel like Falco's neutral game isn't the greatest, and the fact that like like if, if Falco's beating you in neutral, then he probably wins the matchup because his combo game is ridiculous already. So you're already losing neutral against Falco. That's that's kind of it. <laughs> Um, but speaking of a character that loses neutral against Falco, let's go with Fal with Ganon. Um, yeah, I think this is one of Falco's best matchups. Think of it like Falcon, except Falco wins neutral. Um, Falco doesn't, I mean, Ganon, like, you know, hits like a truck, but I wouldn't say his advantage is better than, than Falcon. Like, his damage output's not going to be better than Falcon's and stuff like that, so. Although he hits hard, his hits matter less than Falcons if that makes sense because he's just gonna I think he's gonna get less off of it in, in a lot of cases minus being off stage if Falcons off stage then that's where it's more rewarding but I don't think it's it's um that I don't think it's that big of a deal because Falcon can also get a lot off of hitting Falcon off stage um yeah so I, I would say it's it's basically it's like it's like the equivalent of Falco versus Captain Falcon, except Falco wins neutral. And I also think he edge guards Falcon or Ganon easier than Falcon, and Ganon also gets comboed harder. So it's like you like you just go across the board and it just, it just gets worse and worse. Um <sighs> This might actually be worse than advantage, but I'm just gonna keep it here. Uh, let's go with another character. Um, let's do Bayonetta. This one, I'm unsure of. I need to play more Bayos. That's yeah. That's the other thing. Um, this is all offline. This is an offline matchup chart, so this is my opinion about playing the characters offline. Um, but yeah, Bayo Bayo's an interesting one because. Bayo basically has a one frame air dodge because of Bats Within, so it makes it harder to combo her. So a lot of combos that just work on other characters don't work on Bayo, and Bats Within can kind of mess mess things up. I also think she does a good job of um, edge guarding Falco. Like I'm not saying she's the best character at edge guarding Falco, but she does a solid job at it. Um, her up B is really good at you know covering covering illusion and. Or I guess his is phantasm, whatever. It's 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 good at covering his side B and also getting his air air, air dodge because of how active the hitbox is. Um, she also has a good combo game. I would say the only thing about Bayonetta, the only thing about Bayonetta that would make me want, cause. I kind of want to put it in here, but I do think it, I do think it's more so even. But I feel like something that makes me want to put it here, or like slight advantage, is um, Bayo having trouble killing. But I, 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 like I said, I need to play this matchup more because, in my personal opinion, I don't think that the good Bayos are going to have like a super, super hard time killing, especially when they could just edge guard Falco, and she has. She has witch time. She has like a, bu a bunch of other options to kind of make it rough for Falco. So yeah, I'll leave it here. Um, another character. Yeah. I'll also, I'm not gonna go in order. By the way, I'm just gonna like sporadically pick characters and then tell you what I think about them. <laughs> Let's do this one, Joker. Um. So initially, I, I had this matchup. I think I had this matchup an even or some something like that. I've had it an even in the past, but yeah, I think Falco loses the Joker slightly. I don't think it's horrible, but I think he loses. Um, it's just the fact that, like I said before, a lot of characters beat Falco in neutral, in my opinion. So I think Joker beats Falco in neutral. Um, the other problem I see Falco having is. It's kind of hard, well, the, yeah. It's it's hard to hit Joker because his dash makes him low profile. So if if, if Joker j dashes a lot, a lot of your rising aerials are gonna whiff. And um, what's it called? 
sometimes, sometimes because of how slim he is, it can be kind of awkward to combo him. It's not, it's not like he's not the worst character to combo, but his slim body does make certain spots awkward. Um, and then of course you have Arsene, makes it kind of rough to um, deal with, or makes it worse to deal with Joker in a lot of situations, especially especially if you're off stage. Um, on the positive though, if you get Joker off stage, Falco does a really good job of edge guarding him. But I think it's hard to get Joker in that situation to begin with. Um, Donkey Kong, I think Falco slightly wins against him. I'm. I think a lot of people would be surprised I don't put Donkey Kong in advantage like Ganon, but I think that. Like, I think Donkey Kong's neutral against Falco is kind of, it's kind of, uh, underrated. Because I, I think Donkey Kong does incredibly well versus Falco in neutral because of how good his tilts are. Um, for one, his tilts are invulnerable around the hand, so... If you jump in on DK, he could just, he could just beat out your approaches with, with his tilts. And he could do this with, like, all of his tilts have, have iframes on, on his hands. So he can cleanly beat out a lot of your approaches. Um, DK also has a really good damage output, and he can kill early. That being said, if Falco touches DK, he is probably at kill percent afterwards. And if he's off stage, he's also he should lose his stock for being off stage. Um, yeah, so I think this this is like a very 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 um volatile matchup. Like, I I, I kind of just feel like if one character gets the hit they can take it really far. Well, yeah, they can take it really far. I mean, I think Falco can take it farther than DK if he gets the hit, but DK's damage output is no joke either. Um, Pichu, I think, is even. I think people would be surprised that I think this matchup is even, because I feel like typically people think that Falco loses to both Pichu and Pikachu, but I think Pichu is easier to deal with than Pikachu. Um, neutral is surprisingly not that bad. The thing that makes Pichu so hard, in my opinion, is that because he's so tiny and he's light, he'll, like it, it's just easier for him to get out of uh, Falco's combo combo uh, stuff. Like like Falco's combo window is smaller on Pichu, so like up throw and like up tilt back air, they, it doesn't work on Pichu at like a super high window compared to other characters. But I mean, it still works and you can still do a lot of damage to him. But Pichu could do the same for you, or can do the same to you. He's he's also really, really good at edge guarding Falco with a down air. His down air is so good at edge guarding Falco. And I think also, um, it's more situational, but Thunder is also like a solid edge guarding tool. But or, sorry, not Thunder. Well, Thunder is too, but Nair, Neutral Air. His Neutral Air is really good at edge guarding Falco as well. So he has, he has like a lot of good edge guarding tools at just in intercepting uh, Falco's side B. Um, that being said, he dies early, so Falco down tilt. A lot of, like, Falco's down tilt. Falco's range in general kind of makes it hard for Pichu to get in. This is definitely a matchup where Falco has to play very slow. I feel like if you try to just, you know, run at Pichu, you probably are going to get messed up, which is why a lot of people think that Falco Falco loses. But yeah, you gotta you gotta be really, really, really defensive. This is just a matchup where no one has fun, in my opinion. That's how you have to play it. You just have to play it so that neither of you are, are enjoying fighting each other. Which I mean that's 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 okay. There are some matchups like that where both players don't enjoy it and it's for that reason. It's because you just have you're forced to play it a certain way. Go with Cloud. Um, this is a matchup I initially had at slight disadvantage, I believe, but I currently think this could be even. Um, the deciding factor to me is how easily Falco can edge guard Cloud. I think Falco does a good job of edge guarding him, but I don't know how well he does. Um, I also think that uh, Cloud wins wins a neutral game, but his. I feel like he. Uh, you have more chances of playing neutral with Cloud, if that makes sense. Like, at at lower percent, he doesn't really have anything that can, like, do a crazy amount of combos 
Right, yeah, he doesn't have like hits that can do crazy amount of combos and like, you know, just like snowball percent that way. It's not until I want to say mid-ish percent where you have to be worried because then he could just keep hitting you off stage and then you're you're gonna be ledge trapped and stuff like that. But yeah, you have you have kind of time to play neutral at late at earlier percents. Um and yeah, that, that gives you a chance to do your high damaging combos on Cloud and once you get him off stage. Again, you can just edge guard his life and that's it. <laughs> um, Wario, I think, is even. This is a matchup that I really, really, really want to play offline because this is kind of me just theor theorizing the matchup. Um, I mean, I, I played it a good amount online and it, it does help a bit, but. I need to kind of play more more offline players to verify more what I believe the match how the matchup should go. Um, to start off, this is this is one of the this is one of the matchups where I actually think Falco doesn't do that bad in neutral. So, or one of the top tier matchups because I uh, versus a lot of the top tiers, I think he doesn't do he doesn't win neutral. But I think he does really well uh, at fighting neutral against Wario. Um, and I think that helps him out a lot because he can combo Wario really, really hard. I mean, of course, Wario can do the same thing to him, but I think initially Falco has the advantage actually until you get to Waft. Once you add Waft in the mix, I think it be I think it evens out the matchup because um, I think both both characters, you know, they kind of know each other in neutral they both can have high damage outputs i would say falco has the edge at edge guarding wario because not only can he cover low recoveries with you know just run off down air or you know just forward air but he can also cover high recoveries because of how high his double jump is um which i i feel like most characters can't do versus wario so it's, it's something that you know that you could you could utilize really well and just make it hard for him to come back when he goes off stage. Um, yeah. Once again, I think Waft really even is not the matchup. Um, Wolf, another matchup I think is even. This one's kind of interesting because I feel like Wolf beats Falco neutral. He does decent damage. But I feel like the deciding factor in the matchup is Falco can edge guard Wolf really, really hard. <laughs> I think that in a lot of cases, once Wolf is off stage, Falco can just take his stock like very consistently, and it kind of makes up for for how well Wolf does against Falco in neutral. And it's not to say that Falco can't beat wolf in neutral like i don't think wolf beats falco neutral super super hard but it's enough to where like you know i would say if i were to put a number on i'd say like six out of four exchanges you have with a wolf you'll win four of them and he'll win six or sorry ten out of ten out of exchanges you have with wolf in neutral he'll win six of them and you'll win four but i also think that the four you do win you 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 uh can take the hits farther than he can which makes it good um wolf can edge guard falco too not to say he can't because he also has really good two framing but i just feel like falco does a far greater job of edge guarding wolf than the other way around um okay this one actually no i'll put these here yeah, so I actually think Falco beats the Shotos. Um, I think neutral's kind of evenish. Um, they both can uh, they both can kind of keep each other out, but I I feel like Falco does does more damage to them. He does more damage, and he's better at edge guarding. Um, although both Ryu and Ken have greater kill power. So it kind of, it slightly evens out the uh, damage and edge guarding advantage Falco has, but I still think it's not enough to uh, 
for me to like warrant them winning the match or for it warrant warrant me putting it as even. <laughs> I think his ability to edge guard and edge guard and combo them is really good. And he uh what makes it really good or what makes Falco fighting both the Shotos really good is that his neutral air and forward air can beat out uh focus attack. His up smash can too, because he has he has multi hits on, on all of those moves. So he has like very consistent answers to beat focus attack, which I would say is is one of their best options for landing or just getting out of bad spots and they can't they can't do it against him. Um Little Mac, I think Falco wins. Um It's one of those things where Little Mac is annoying and neutral, but then once Falco gets the hit, he can throw him off stage and edge guard him. I mean I'm kind of simplifying it, it's not that easy, but at the same time it's 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 kind of it's it's like it's not that easy but it's also not super hard to do like you just kind of win win neutral against mac and then throw him off stage and edge guard him um terry i'm not sure i'm on the fence i think it's kind of like ken and ryu but i feel like terry does better in neutral i think terry has more has more tools to fight Falco in neutral. And um, he also has the X factor of, um, you know, go. Um, it's funny because I, 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 you would probably think that the Shotos are harder to edge guard than Terry, but I don't think, I think they're just like, they're both just as easy as the other, honestly. Like, um, you can just go out and hit both of them out of, out of the recoveries and, you know, Falco gets the edge guard. But it's really just the fact that I, I, I feel that Terry does a little bit better at at uh, playing neutral and, again, go. Go is, like, very, very frightening. Hmm. Mario. I also think is even. Um... Yeah, this matchup, I would say... They kind of just mess each other up. Um, Falco does well in neutral versus Mario. They both had really crazy combos. Um, Mario can get edge guarded hard by, by Falco. Same thing, for Mar or th same thing for Falco. Falco can get edge guarded pretty hard by Mario. It's a very... It's a very back and forth match. Um, I feel like Falco has the advantage against Mario at lower percents because he has better combos at lower percents. But then once, but then once Mario gets you to like, once Mario gets like a hit or two on you, then I feel like he kind of can um, snowball do snowball snowball damage pretty well. So I, I guess like initially it's it's in. Initially, it, like, Falco has the advantage, but then Mario kind of just catches up at later percents. And Mario has better kill power, too. Okay, um, let's get to Doc. I think Falco slightly beats Doc. Um, I think it's, this is kind of similar to, uh, to regular Mario, low percents. Falco, like, can really mess up Doc, but... Once, once Doc gets you to like, um, once Doc's, once Doc puts some damage on you, it can be really scary because his up B out of shield is, is better than Mario's. It's also, he has a frame three up B, but the hitbox is bigger. So you have to really respect him more so in neutral. Um, like you can't just like recklessly land on top of him, which makes it a bit more annoying. Um. Offstage is really bad for him though, like he gets edge guarded pretty hard. Um <laughs> Wait, huh. Do I wanna put this at advantage? Yeah, I think I think this I think this should go in advantage, honestly. Yeah, I'll put it here. Okay. Um 
This one, I'm, I'm, I'm like pretty unsure about this matchup. Um, I think this is probably like a really, really campy matchup, but at the same time, I feel like once Falco gets a hit on Steve, it's it's really easy for him to uh, to snowball that into a kill. And Falco does a pretty good job of counteracting um, Steve's side B and down air because of Reflector. So whenever Steve, well, I mean, realistically, Steve shouldn't just be down airing like out of nowhere. That's like more of an online thing. But <laughs> side B, if if Steve just tries to do side B, not only on stage but off stage. Falco can just reflect it because his reflector stream one, um, so it makes it hard for Steve to to abuse those moves in, in the matchup. And um, yeah, again, something something. This is just a matchup I need to play more offline to to really get get an understanding of it. But uh, for now, I'll, I'll keep it here. Hmm. Lucina. Um, basically, the way I think of this matchup is it's kind of like it's kind of like Falco Cloud, except it's harder to edge guard this character. So I mean, yeah, if you think of it like that, you 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 just uh you you can't. It's really hard to get in on Lucina, and you you do a lot of damage, but Edge guarding can be can be somewhat difficult. Um, that and honestly, I think Lucina does better at edge guarding Falco. So, yeah, I, I would put this matchup here. And let's do another match where I, I think Falco debatably loses. Where are they? Oh, here we go. Yeah, Falco Marth. Same thing as is uh Falco Lucina, except. You have the inconsistency of Tipper, so I feel like I want to put this in dis in disadvantage, but I also feel like lining Tippers with Mark can be pretty inconsistent. So I would I'll put it here. Um, Luigi, Another character I'm kind of on the fence about. Initially, initially I had this at I had that at uh, I had Luigi at slight slight disadvantage, but the more I play it, the less bad it feels. And I don't know if it's just I don't know if it's just online or not, but I think Falco does a, a a pretty good job of edge guarding Luigi, which isn't that big of a surprise given how bad Luigi's recovery is. But on stage is a hassle. It's really bad. It's like it's basically like. Comboing him is like comboing Bayo, except he has, you know, the Cyclone, which you can bait out a bit, but it does it does make it hard. It makes it so that you have to kind of respect him more and reset more combos that would be just guaranteed on other characters, or just be more on point with how you do your follow-ups. Um, that being said, he can, uh... Falco can uh, combo Luigi really hard, but Luigi can do the same for... can do the same to him, and, um... Yeah, the only difference is that Falco can't um, really disrupt Luigi's combos with anything he has. He doesn't. He doesn't have like a frame one cyclone. Although he does have a two frame air dodge, which is good still, but not as good as cyclone can be. Brawler, I think, is even. This one's kind of interesting. I I actually think Brawler does a little bit better in neutral than Mario does, but at the same time is. Damage output isn't as good as Mario's, but he does have some ridiculous stuff still. Um, yeah. Probably a controversial opinion. I feel like a lot of people think that Falco just destroys Bowser, but I disagree. I don't think Falco does does beat Bowser like <laughs> I don't think Falco beats Bowser at all. I think it's even. Um I, I, this is funny because it's like opinion I've like had for the longest time and I don't, I don't really see it changing. Um, I think Bowser beats Falco in neutral, but you know, of course Falco has a crazy combo game on Bowser. But the only thing is that Bowser, 
kill so early. That's the that's the only reason why I don't think this matchup is like bad for him. Um, Bowser kills so early. He he wins neutral. Uh, I don't like. I think he has so many great tools to um just beat beat Falco in neutral. I also think. Well, yeah. Let me go. Let me kind of go into the tools he has. So he has up be out of shield, which means Falco can't, like, he can't land on top of Bowser with like anything except for like maybe a a landing up air, which can become it can become predictable. All right, no, I think you have to you will have to land with up air like perfectly, and then even then, I think. After after like a hit or two, it becomes stale, so that so Bowser can uh, be out of shield, and that's like Falco's main combo tool, so that's going to be stale. Um, so then after that, the only thing you have is to like kind of space moves in order to hit Bowser's shield or poke him, which I mean you could definitely poke him, but I don't think it's that easy. Just given the fact it's kind of like DK, although I think DK's tilts are better than Bowser's neutral, but. Um, Bowser's tilts are, are do they do they do have iframes on them, so you can kind of just call out moves and beat out Falco's. And um, once Falco's off stage, if he doesn't go for like a two frame like forward tilt or down tilt, he can just do his neutral B, which does a lot of damage to Falco. And like it's not surprising to die to Bowser at like below sixty because of how strong he is, or like. Yeah, how, how strong his kill, how great his kill power is. Um, you could say that, like Bowser is heavy also, which I, I don't think it's that big of a deal because being heavy kind of benefits Falco because he can um, combo you pretty hard. Uh, and once like once Bowser recovers low, like Dare like Dare Dare edge guarding him or, or forward area forward airing him shouldn't be that big of an issue. So his way can kind of work against him depending on the situation. Um and it like in certain cases it doesn't matter because again you can just edge guard him, which I mean if you're if you're a heavyweight, it doesn't really matter if you get hit low enough to where you can't recover. Um but yeah, I, I think it's here. I think I think this matchup is even. Sheik Falco, I think Sheik wins. Um, I think Sheik kind of dominates Falco in neutral. Has crazy damage output that most people probably don't think she does because her um her her, her combos aren't optimized, but. Yeah, she does. She does. She has great. She has combos that I think, in a lot of cases, well, yeah, it's it's really dependent. But I think in a lot of cases, her combos could be as good as Falco's, which I mean, that's saying a lot because Falco's combo game is like stupidly good. And the fact that she can also have that on top of being a neutral is scary. And she edge guards them really well. I think the only reason it's not worse than worse than slight advantage is um I think Falco can actually edge guard Sheik decently. Like I don't, I'm not saying he can edge guard her like incredibly well, but I think he can edge guard her decently enough and he can combo her pretty hard and she dies early. She's she's a fairly light character, so it's yeah, it's not that bad. I mean, she can also kill early, but I feel like most of, in, in a lot of situations, she's not going to be able to land up smash on you, which is her strongest kill move. She's like, she's most likely going to kill you with like an edge guard or maybe like needles bouncing. Well, needles bounce fish is, is an edge guard, but yeah, something like that. Like, I don't think she's going to be consistently landing up smash on Falco. If, <laughs> if, if there comes a day where she is just. If, if, if there comes a day where Sheik's kills, where Sheik is killing you with like 70% up smashes, then I would say this is, this is like a, a bad, like a bad, bad matchup. But until then, I'll put it here. Uh, 
I think this matchup is slight advantage. The scary thing about Incineroar is his frame data. He has really, really good, like, he has really, really fast attacks that also have really big hitboxes, so you have to respect his attacks a lot. He can also two frame incredibly well with the down tilt, making it like, it can, it can be difficult to um, recover against that because I, I feel like he can just do down tilt, forward tilt, or even his dares are also really good at, at um, getting Falco's recovery. So he has those two things. Kills really early, especially if he gets revenge. Um, that being said, I still think Falco Edgeguard is better than him and does more damage than him. And then I also don't think neutral is that bad. Um, I don't think Falco like flat out beats Incineroar neutral, but I I think it's like it's an even neutral game. The Fox, I think, is even. Um, kind of the same thing as Wolf, except I think Falco wins neutral harder, but dies earlier. And also doesn't kill as early as Wolf. So it kind of somewhat evens out the matchup, ma makes it even still, because thought like, like Fox can kind of, you know, Snowball, snowball advantage on you, but then you kind of can just hit him off stage once and kill him, like, really early. Uh, this is a matchup I want to play more, but I think it's actually even. Um, offline, online, you know, Sonic's a monster online, but yeah, offline, I think this is a pretty even matchup. Um... The thing I think that kind of evens out the matchup is how annoying Falco's laser can be to deal with it, uh, against Sonic because he can kind of laser laser uh, Sonic out of spin dash and spin charge, and a lot of moments where Sonic is um where Sonic is like uh, you know doing spin dash and like jumping away from from Falco or something like that, Falco can catch him in the air with his uh, with his up air or, or neutral air because his out of shield options are really quick. And um, it could be it could it could be pretty hard for Sonic to um, like jump around jump around Falco with with his attacks because of that. Um, I'm not saying it's it's impossible. Like like you know like obviously Sonic can still like do Sonic things, but I think Falco does a better job at dealing with it. Um, you know, it, ha it has to be in a more defensive way, though. Like, you can't just you can't just run at Sonic. You have to play it really slow. It's, it's like one of those matchups where you just have to play it really slow and can be really annoying for both players to play. Um, Doc also edgeguards Sonic pretty well because of how how Spring works. Like, you know, Sonic is Spring, and then he just, he just goes straight up. He doesn't have any hitbox on it which makes it really easy for Falco to uh, just do, or put a hitbox where Sonic's uh, Sonic's gonna be when he's grabbing the edge. And his hitboxes are pretty active, so the timing you need to uh, hit Sonic's up B isn't that strict. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't think, I think that's, that's all I wanna say about that matchup. Palu, I think, is even. Um, it's kind of, this matchup's kind of interesting because the way that Palu plays, like the way, like when you look at Palu, you, you probably wouldn't think that Palu Falco is like an even match for you. Probably think that she just absolutely destroys Falco. But the reason why I think this is an even matchup is how Palu has to, or how Palu plays. Like she's very jump heavy, and Falco's really good at, at catching jumps. And like Palu has to play that way. Palu has to um, threaten jump in order in order to to um, you know utilize her neutral to to its fullest. And again, Falco's really good at calling out jumps. He's really good at 
at with punishing jumps with like side B. So like let's say Palu's gonna like, you know, jump and wall back air or forward air. Falco can just with punish them for doing that with, with his side B, as long as they don't hit a shield. And I mean if if they hit a shield you can parry it. Which I mean I'm not saying that he's always gonna parry it, but that isn't an option he could do. Um and if you call out a jump, like if you just run in and call out a jump, and then you can do fair drag down and start a combo from there. Um Paul is also one of the one of the characters that Falco can uh combo with down throw, which is really good because he can just do down throw fair drag down stuff to her and get good amount of damage regardless of being on a platform stage or not. Um and then finally, he's really good at forcing her forcing forcing her low to recover with his laser. So it makes it it makes it possible for you to uh to frame her. In a, in a lot of cases where most characters wouldn't be able to force her into a lower recovery so she could just teleport high and you know got that angle where she's untoo frameable okay rule i think is here um yeah i think that would be some in neutral i think k roll gets comboed really hard i also think k roll gets it's, gets edge guarded like incredibly well the thing about carol though is that he actually can kill stupidly early i i actually feel like out of out of all these characters if i were to choose choose one of them to put here carol would be the one like where like where if i if i had my doubts about a character having or had my doubts about falco having like a solid advantage on a character it would be carol but yeah for the time being i i think falco solidly beats carol Falco Zero Suit, I think Zero Suit wins. Um, the thing that I feel makes this matchup hard is how well Zero Suit can kind of just get get um get away from Falco. I feel like she does a really good job of just walling him out with her safe safe aerials. Um, the difference between Zero Suit and Polly, by the way, because you know. Zero Suit is jump happy, like the same as Palu. I think Zero Suit is just faster, and she also has better, better um, better ways of just like running away from Palco and kind of resetting neutral, which um, Palutena doesn't have. It's just flip jump. Flip jump's just a really good get out of jail free card for for Zero Suit, and I also think. Edge guarding, well, edge guarding her is not super difficult. Like I think Falco can edge guard her pretty well, but she does have more mix-ups to avo to avoid uh, getting edge guarded by Falco than uh, Palu does. Um. Oh yeah, something else to note about Zero Suit for some for some reason, um, Falco can consistently fair drag down up smash Zero Suit. So I guess that's like. A benefit that he has against her. Um, actually, you know what? I'd probably put it here. I'm kind of on the fence. Um, if I were to lean towards one, I'd probably put it here, but yeah. At the moment, I'm kind of on the fence. Although, Falco can't down throw combo zero suit, or like, you know, get a, get a guaranteed down throw combo without getting a tech chase. Um... That was a loud. That's a very loud car. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I would, I would put it, I would put it here. I probably am leaning more towards advantage or disadvantage, but I'll put it here for now. Um, yeah. So Zero Suit does makes it hard for Falco to get to to get in. Um, can edge guard him. Pretty, pretty okay. Actually, no, I'm putting it here. <laughs> I'm putting it back. <laughs> I, th I, I think he loses. Yeah, I'm just thinking about it. And like, the more I think about it, the more I, I just feel neutral is just hard for Falco. Um, Peach, Falco, I think is even. Kind of interesting. I feel like... I feel like they 
kind of do the same thing, where they both are just like these slow moving tanks that do a lot of damage to each other. Um, and I think Peach being slow actually helps top out a lot and makes neutral a lot better than it would be. Like I, I, I think, I think Peach can wall out Falco, but it, she can't just like. She can't easily push Falco into a corner if that makes sense in neutral. Like, like her hitboxes aren't that threatening where Falco can't just run away. Yeah, that, that's that's what he has. Like, that's the big thing he has. He can like full hop away in a lot of spots where Peach is. Peach would be able to call out a lot of characters, full hop, and then bear them. I think it's harder for her to do that against Falco. So he can kind of fight her in a quarter. Cor uh, he can fight out of being cornered better. Or, yeah, he has like more options to get out of corners than other characters do against Peach because of how high his flop is. And um, he also edge guards her pretty well, honestly. Um, for some for some reason, um, I've done this a lot. I I I I I don't know if it's just how Falco's hitbox is positioned versus Peach's, but um. Like, Falco can run off and up B, like, Peach's recovery, like, pretty well. If they, like, go, go, like, deep in to the, to the ledge with it. And, yeah, it'll, like, it'll, it'll trade. It won't even, yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll just trade. It, like, trades a lot, which I think is weird. I think it can also do with how Falco does his dare, because he kind of puts his feet up, and then he kicks it down, so... Maybe this hitbox appears into Peaches and it just trades. Either way, it's pretty cool for Falco in the matchup that he can just do that to Peach a lot. Or maybe I'm just getting lucky, but <laughs> I, I think I think that's I I want to say it's pretty consistent. Um. I haven't played this matchup enough, but I think Falco wins. Uh, one of the annoying things about Bowser Jr. is that it's, it's actually really hard to do fair drag down stuff to him, so it kind of eliminates some some lot combo capabilities. But you have, I mean, he's still he's still like a pretty big character, so you can do up throw combos pretty well. You can juggle him. Um, neutral can be annoying because of how um, how much range he has on how much range he has on his attacks, like his forward air and stuff, and like his tilts, I think it could be hard to uh, for Falco to to get on to get in on him if he uh, what's it called? Just utilizes his um, like threatens jumps more, which I, which is kind of interesting because his well yeah it's like the the reason why he can do it is for one. Are the reason why you can do it better than than Zero Suit or Apollo is because his hitboxes are, are bigger, like they, they reach out more further horizontally. And um it's also like you you don't really you normally don't get much off of doing drag down to him because of um Yeah, like the like normally when you do drag down fair to Bowser Jr., the landing hit will connect. So it just makes it harder to get follow-ups on him. Um But I still think Falcon wins. I don't think he does anything too crazy to Falco. Like, I don't. Uh, I'll explain it. Hmm. Um, I, I, I don't think, like, his ability to get out of, to get out of, um, Falco's drag down stuff is that big of a factor when you take into consideration how, you know, how comboable he is, because he's so big, it's easier to combo him and do a lot of other stuff to him. And, like, fair drag down can still work, it's just harder to land on him, so it's not, it's not like I'm saying it's impossible, it's just... It's it's um less it's less consistent on Bowser Jr. And his recovery is uh I would say 
pretty edge guardable <laughs> um, compared to like the other two, like like the other two jump happy characters like Palu and uh, Zero Suit. Hmm. I'm debating whether or not wh where where to move this. Like, do I want do I want to put Diddy in even, or do I want to put it somewhere else? I'm really thinking about this one. Hmm. I'm gonna put it here. <laughs> um, this might be a matchup I need to play more, but I I really feel this matchup. I really feel like this matchup's kind of hard. Um, Diddy's Diddy is tiny, so like a lot of a lot of um, you can't do you can't do reverse up tilt on him, so that kind of makes it hard to to get shield pokes on him. Yeah, that, that's the other thing. I feel like he's 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 hard to shield poke and unlike Pichu where you can you could like abuse tilts, if Diddy's holding a banana, you can't even like use tilts on him because he gets punished you with his banana toss. So that's that makes that can make the matchup even worse in certain like certain situations because you can't you can't like abuse the range of your tilts because he gets banana throw and then hit you again. Or you know, start a combo and Diddy's combo game has been getting optimized, and we've been seeing how like much damage you can get off of up things. And of course, he's has really good ledge trapping. So I think I'll put it there. Although I do feel like Falco does a really good job of um, calling, comboing and edge guarding Diddy. I I, I don't know. I I I feel like I, I I'm on the fence between where to put it, but I'll I'll, I'll keep it here. Plant, or I think Falco beats Plant. Um, one of the big benefits he has is that he has Reflector. It's not really that good against Patui, in my opinion, unless Plant kind of Patui's you, try, tries to Patui your landing, and you're like facing the, the attack so you can reflect it, and he hasn't thrown it yet. But in a lot of cases where Falco throws Patui, or where Falco reflects the Patui, it normally misses plant, so reflecting it's not that big of a deal in my opinion. Especially when you, when you just avoid it in, in a lot of cases. Um, yeah, I would say Falco actually does a pretty solid job of comboing plant, edge guarding plant, and playing neutral with plant, especially since. Yeah, Fal like plant's just so slow. <laughs> Plant's just so so slow, and I feel like a lot of a lot of his attacks are heavily centered around like abusing Patui, and it, it's it shouldn't be that hard to get around if you know how. Unless you're off stage. If you're off stage, you're screwed. <laughs> but on stage, it's not that bad. Um. I actually think Falco beats Rob. Um, yeah, a lot of a lot of um, a lot of Falco's a lot of Falco's um, or sorry, a lot of Rob's projectiles are he, two of them. You know, uh, his laser gyro Falco can just reflect or neutral, and I feel like that's a lot of Rob's neutral game is uh, abusing gyro, and you know Falco can get around that pretty well. Um, I would say the worst thing about fighting Rob is down tilt. Like down tilt's probably the scariest thing he has in the matchup. 
but I yeah, I feel like the fact that Falco can get around one of it or can, can like somewhat make Rob's neutral nerf helps him out a lot. Um, Rob's also huge, so he gets comboed incredibly hard, and Falco does a pretty good job of edge guarding him. I wouldn't say it's like uh, like super super free, because Rob can kind of mix up how he, how he recovers. Like I, I feel like if he recovers low, it can be hard for Falco to uh, just run off and dare him because Rob can can up air his dare or he can kind of drop. Or he, he has like some mix ups. Well, it depends on how low he recovers, but yeah, he can, he can kind of make it hard for you to run off an edge guard him. Um, next character is Trainer, which I think Falco goes even with. Um, I think Falco does a pretty good job versus Squirtle. Um, Squirtle's lack of range kind of hurts him because Falco can just kind of abuse abuse his, his better range to beat out a lot of Squirtle stuff. Um, and also combo Squirtle surprisingly hard, which is weird given how, how, how small Squirtle is. Um, yeah, I think, I think, uh, in a lot of turners matchups, it's really dependent on how well the opponent does versus Squirtle, and I think Falco does really well versus Squirtle. So, yeah, I mean, it's not just 100% that, but I think a lot of the matchup is Squirtle, it's just being able to fight Squirtle. Um, because I feel like Falco does a, a, a really good job at fighting Ivysaur and uh, Charizard, and... Again, surprisingly, he does a really good job of fighting Squirtle, too. Um, Roy, I think Falco loses, too. Um, I think this matchup is... Uh, could be really hard, because, I mean, one, Roy's, Roy's really fast. He has, like, a really good destroying with the sword. So... It could be hard to get in on him, even if, like, you know, Roy wants you wants to fight, wants to fight up close to get the sweet spot on his sword. I feel like Roy still does a really good job of keeping Falco out, and Roy kills really early. Um, I mean, luckily, Roy's recovery is kind of booty, so you can get you can edge guard him pretty well. But yeah, I think the, the I think the driving factor is how early. Roy can kill Falco because of because of the sweet spot in his attacks. That being said, I think Crom Falco's even. Basically the same thing as Roy. Roy um, Falco, except I feel like Crom's recovery is even worse. And he can't kill us early. So it's my reasoning behind putting that uh, Crom here and Roy here. Um, I think Falco Kirby is slightly advantage of Falco. Um, I know a lot of Falco players think Kirby Kirby Falco's even or Falco loses, but I I don't know. I think it's I think it's even. Um. I think this is just another matchup where you have to play it pretty lame and uh, <laughs> no one has fun in the matchup. Um, yeah, Kirby being floaty makes it easy to uh, do gap, down throw dragon combos on him, or down throw combos on him. His recovery is also not very good. Like, uh, Kirby being so slow in the air, once he's off stage, you can, you can harass him like pretty hard and there's not much Kirby can do about it. 
I mean, that being said, Kirby can also edge guard Falco solidly. He has pretty good down air. He also has inhale, which, I mean, depending on the spot you use it, you could put Falco in a horrible spot. And Kirby has a really, really good up tilt that you can't, you can't, like, you basically can't land on top of Kirby. You have to always run away from Kirby if, if, you're, if uh, he has you in the air, which I, it shouldn't be that hard cause, since he's so slow and you could just side be away, but something you have to worry about. The other matchup, Falco has a pretty big advantage of, big advantage on, which I think is no surprise, DDD. Falco does a really great job of countering Gordo. He's also really big, so you can combo him like incredibly hard. And even though DDD has like, you know, he has pretty good range and destroying with his hammer, like his attacks aren't that safe on the shield. Like, uh, let me let me look let me look up some of the screen data. Sorry, I'm just like scrolling through, <laughs> looking for his uh, frame data. Yeah, like I, I feel like his best aerial. His best, his like, I feel like his best poking aerial is uh, his forwarder, and that's it's like it has frame 13 startup, and it's also minus 13, which I think is pretty bad. I feel like it's, I think it's possible to like parry it somewhat consistently. I mean, he does have a mix-up of inhale, but I mean, even if he does inhale you, it's not really going to do much. That's kind of the issue with DD, I feel like. A lot of his moves, like a lot of the mix-ups he, he has to uh, win neutral don't matter as much because he kind of just, like, he kind of just hits you and then you play neutral again. So, his, yeah, his damage output's not super crazy. And... He's big. It's like the same thing as Kirby. He's big and slow, so once you get him off stage, it's pretty easy to edge guard. And he's even easier to combo than Kirby, in my, in my opinion, because of how big and heavy he is. So, yeah, kind of makes him a worse matchup for that reason. Falco Pikachu. I think Falco loses. <laughs> I feel like no one. I feel like no one should be that surprised by this. Um, Pikachu does a really good job of corner of, of carrying Falco off stage with his combos, and also edge guard Falco pretty well. Um, he's also hard to hit. <laughs> he's really, really hard to hit. Um, it's like it's like Pichu, except I feel like like Pichu or Pikachu has better neutral tools than Pichu, so it just makes it more annoying. Although I will say I I, I feel like um, Pichu edge guards Falco better, which is interesting. I, yeah, so Pikachu has better has better neutral tools, but I think Pikachu also has a better combo game and just it it, it it's like Pikachu is just just more consistent than Pichu in a lot, in a lot of areas in the matchup. Like better neutral, uh, better combos in my opinion, and he's also heavier, so he's harder to kill. Um, hmm. Isabel Falco, I think Falco wins. Um, this is definitely a matchup I would need to play more, but I think it's this is like a really slow paced matchup. Um, although I feel like it's super slow paced once, once Falco gets the hit, he does like a crazy amount of damage and can edge guard Isabel really well. Um, but I do think the fact that uh, Isabel has has the uh, the down B instead of or like the the Lloyd the Lloyd trap is actually better in the matchup than uh, Lloyd Rocket. Because like, I think uh, Falco can have it, it could be annoying for Falco to get around. Like, I think his best move at destroying Lloyd Trap is down tilt, and I feel like Isabel can punish Falco for 
for you know destroying the Lloyd Trap if she's in a position to do so. Um, unless you just like just camp it out until it disappears. Um, where's Villager? Villager, I'm gonna put in the same spot. By the way, I'm just looking for him. I'm blind. I can't find him. Where is he? <laughs> There he is. Alright, um, yeah, same thing. I think it's, I think it's Slight Advantage Falco. Um, I think... Actually, I'll put this here. <laughs> yeah, I'll put it here. Um, I was gonna say, I actually think... The, the reason why I, I put Villager there, and, you know, Isabel where I put her, is I, I feel like... Villager actually has better kill kill possibilities, so kind of evens out evens out the matchup, or it ma makes it harder because I feel like there's a lot of situations where Villager can kill Falco really early. I mean, not to say that Isabel can't kill Falco early, but I feel like Villager can kill Falco early more consistently, even though Isabel has has uh, better neutral tools. Um, This one I'm unsure about. I want to put this. I want to put the Belmont in advantage, slight advantage. But I feel like they're just so hard to get in on. That's what. <laughs> that's what gets me. I I feel like a really good Belmont. It's really hard for Falco to like actually just get in get in on him. And I also think you know he he like has fantastic lead trapping and stuff like that. That being said, once Falco gets in and gets the Belmont off stage, well. It's not even always the case, honestly, because their tether recovery is like really quick. Um, but yeah, like if you get if you get them off stage far enough, that it like they're 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 gonna get edge guarded. But that's the, that's the problem I feel like is actually getting them in that position. I I just think it could be really hard to do that. Um, yeah, I'll keep that there. Um, yeah, this is one of those matchups where I feel like Samus does a pretty good job of keeping Falco out, you know, kind of similar to the Belmonts, but I feel like Belmonts have better damage output than, or, yeah, they have, they have, they have, I think, I feel like the, the Belmonts have better advantage than Samus, um, like they, they do more damage than Samus does. And I also think that Falco does a better job of comboing Samus. Um, so, yeah, I would put that. I would put Falco Samus in slight advantage. Slight advantage, just because although Samus can keep Falco out pretty well once he gets in, does a crazy amount of damage on on her because of how floaty and heavy she is. It's it's just really hard for her to get away, and um. Yeah, I don't think that. All I have to say about that matchup, um, yeah, once because once Samus is super far off stage, kind of similar similar to Belmont's. I think Samus should just lose her stock. <laughs> I think I think forward air off stage does a really good job of just closing out the stock really well versus Samus because of how floaty, floaty she is in the air and how hard it is for her to just get away from Falco off stage. Um.
this matchup I think is even. Um, trying to think why, like how to explain it. Um, I feel like the first thing is that Falco can kind of just, Falco can kind of um, jump on top of Greninja. Yeah, I mean, if, 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 if Greninja's like in a position where he actually shields, Falco can jump on top of him a lot of the times and it's really hard for Greninja to um, punish punish the attack so it, it allows Falco to, to, to somewhat pressure Greninja because um, he doesn't have like amazing out of shield options. It could also be kind of hard for Greninja to just jump away from Falco because of how high Falco's jump is. I think Greninja has the second highest jump and Falco has the highest so I feel like in a lot of cases where Greninja would be able to jump away from a character, he can't versus Falco. Um, I also feel like Greninja's recovery is kind of just super edge guardable by Falco. Um, yeah, I just feel like in a lot in a lot of spots where Falco and Greninja were where Falco and Greninja would play neutral, Falco has a lot of moves that can pretty safely poke Greninja. I mean, Greninja has that too, but I feel like Falco also has a better, better, uh, better damage output than Greninja. Um, but I feel like um, Greninja also has better, better kill options than Falco does. Minus, like, minus Falco's edge guarding. Uh, yeah, I put, I put an even. <laughs> I'm like, sorry if it, it just feels like, if it feels like, like, my explanations are, are vague. I'm just trying, I'm trying to think of, I'm trying to visualize the matchup and explain it, which is, it's kind of weird. But I also know this is, this is a, an opinion that I have that a lot of other Falco players don't agree with. I think a lot of Falco players think that Falco loses. Um, yeah, anyways, let's go on to the next character. Inkling, I think, is even our slight losing for Falco. Um... Before I thought, I thought like, you know, Falco just heavily lost this matchup, but after playing it more, um, I'm kind of on the fence. I feel like Falco does a really good job of just holding advantage on Inkling, but Inkling is so goddamn hard to hit. That's, that's the problem. That is the problem. And Inkling also has pretty solid, also has pretty solid damage output. Um, Inkling, also, Inkling being so hard to hit, it could be really difficult to like actually get the, ki the, the kill confirm you need to actually kill Inkling. And at the same time, Inkling can also struggle to kill. Um, yeah, so I, I feel like the, the... I feel like I want to put an even, but I also feel like Inkling's ability to just avoid Falco is just so good. But also, once you get the hit on Inkling, it's really like... It just snowballs so hard. <laughs> um, yeah, this is a matchup I debate. I debate about so much, but uh, I just put it here. I think Falco slightly beats Toon Link. Um.
This is kind of a, a really... I feel like it could be annoying for both characters. But mainly mainly Toon Link. Um, just because I feel like it's 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 really hard to um utilize boomerang. So you have to you have to use boomerang less in neutral in my opinion, because Falcon can just reflect it. Um meaning you have to rely more on bomb, which Bomb is good, but I, I feel like you know the ability to not be able to shut down areas with boomerang kinda hurts. Um, two links also, well, all the links really, um, all the links just get edge guarded really hard if they ever have to up B versus Falco. I think Falco's one of the best characters at just like stuffing out their up B recovery. It's like really, really easy to do. Like you just, you just drop four air and at higher percent you just drop dare and they and can't really do much about it. Um, where is he? Oh, Link. Link, I think, is even or slight advantage. It's probably even, but I'm just gonna leave it here. Um, I mean, I did talk about Link or about the Link's up B, you know, being edge guardable. By Falco, the uh, the, the thing that that uh, Young Link, or that regular Link has is the uh, bomb recovery. Um, it makes it it like adds an additional layer to his recovery, making it harder to to you know consistently edge guard him because he has the ability to go high with the bomb and then kind of somewhat like have have the ability to land, or he can go low and then if he goes low and you're not prepared for it. You can, it, it's like pretty hard to, to get his recovery. Um, and then not only that, but he also kills really, really early. And I mean, Link Nair, uh, <laughs> Link Nair is uh, an amazing move. It's a, it's a really good hitbox and does does a lot. Um, where is Young Link? There he is. Hmm, where do I want to put Young Link? I think I'm putting him here. Um, yeah, I think, I actually feel like Young Link has the hardest time in neutral versus Falco out of, out of the links because of his lack of range. Even though like he has, you know, he has fantastic mobility, I feel like his lack of range really hurts him. and. The, and his ability to not use boomerang as often because his boomerang is the best out of the links. Like it's so safe. It's like really, really safe on on shield. So that that really hurts the fact that Falco can just uh, you know reflector it in neutral. Um, yeah, the only I would say the only thing that like prevents his matchup from being even worse is the fact that Yolink actually has like really good combo game compared to compared to Toon Link. Like his combo game is really really good so once he actually gets the gets the right hit he can do a lot of damage. I mean not as much as Falco but he could still do like crazy damage. Um this is a new character Mithra Pyra. So this is, I mean, obviously this is the newest character, so I do not have that much matchup experience against them, but I actually think it's even. Um, 
I feel like this matchup would be a lot worse if it wasn't for the fact that the recovery is as bad as it is. Like, I actually think Falco, like, like in a lot of cases, once Falco gets Mithra Pyre off stage, they just, they're not going to come back. Which helps him out a lot because, I mean, Mithra is going to, like, you know, she's going to dominate Falco in neutral. Um, and if you're, like, ever in a spot where you have to recover low, I think Pyre, you're dead. Like, Pyre just kills you, but... I actually think it's hard for for Mithra to like put you in that put, to put you in that situation where you have to recover low. So you know, hitting like hitting Fap off stage and then switching to Pyra, you're normally not going to have have an opportunity to just force Fap up B and like and, and dare him. In my opinion, I mean, I again I need to play the matchup more, but that's how I feel currently. And then I also don't think playing Pyra in neutral versus Falco is a move either. Just cause like she, she's she's so slow. <laughs> yeah, that's but yeah, that's what I that's what I currently think of the matchup. Um, The pits I currently think are even. Um, I could actually see Falco losing, honestly, but it just depends on how on how um, optimized pits uh, combo game is. Because uh, at the moment, I don't think pits damage output is like that crazy, but I do think he he does well versus Falco. Like I like I think. It's really hard to hit a good, a good pit as Falco. Um, and then arrows can kind of force you low. They have really good edge guarding with, with arrows and dare. Um, they don't kill. They don't kill like crazy crazy early outside of edge guarding. I mean, I guess Dark Pit has you know side B, but for like he's not gonna line it that often. It's like a rare occasion. Um. Yeah, that's... Yeah, those are, those are like the, the big things I could, I could really think about when it comes to Pit and Dark Pit, like like the advantages they have. Um, like every character, once Falco hits them, it kind of just melt. They're, they're, yeah, they're, they're stock melts, so there's that. Really, I think Falco beats. Um, honestly, I feel like it's just because Ridley's so big. Like, it's I, I feel like Ridley is one of the one of the easiest characters to shield poke. And <laughs> in, 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 uh, yeah, I feel like Ridley is one of the easiest characters characters to shield poke. And he's also like not that heavy, so he shield pokes easily. He's like combo food. He's like deceptively light compared to how big he is. There's just there. There's a lot you could do to this character, but he is really, really annoying to fight in neutral, <laughs> like most of Falco's matchups. Uh, Snake, I think is even, um, I think Snake kind of just walls out, or walls out Falco really well with his, with his grenades and, you know, his, his amazing range, and he also does solid damage for that reason, um, and he kills early, I mean, he doesn't have, like, crazy combos. Outside of like maybe doing like grenade into something, or getting like like a read, but yeah, my like like minus getting a read doesn't really have super super crazy combos. 
but he he does kill early. Um, but Snake is also heavy, gets comboed hard by Falco, and his upbeat is actually like pretty easy for Falco to edge guard. Like I think I think uh, regardless of Snake going higher or low, Falco can just be there and, and you know meet meet Snake there and edge guard him. Um. Okay, this is a matchup I need to, I need to like play more, but I've thought like <laughs> it's gonna sound dumb, but the more I think about it, the more I think this could actually be even for Falco, but it's something I, I would need to play. Um I feel like Falco can Edge guard game and watch pretty hard because of how's like how his upbeat is like his upbeat is like pretty too is his upbeat's too, pretty too frameable and I feel like Falco uh, runoff dare and down tilt can do a pretty solid solid job job of edge guarding him. I also think that Falco's I think Falco's four tilt and, and uh like his grounded moves actually prevent Game & Watch from being able to, um, or, like, he can space it so that up out of shield won't hit him if he does forward tilt or, or down tilt, I think. Like, if he, like, max range space it, which, I mean, that, that could be hard, but not so much for down tilt. Down tilt kind of pushes you away, so if you do it right, I don't think Game & Watch can do that. Um, Falco also can combo Game & Watch surprisingly well. Like for how light he is. Yeah, again, I don't. I, it's, it's it's definitely a match. I need I need to like play and lab out more. But I feel like Falco might Falco might actually be even game watch. Um, I mean, I could very well be wrong. This could, <laughs> I yeah. I mean, once I once I learn more about the matchup, game watch could still win, but. For now, I think I'll put it in that in this area just because of like a few a few ideas I've had in the matchup that I just can't really experiment much with because of online. Um. Falco by I think Falco wins. Uh, I think Byleth does a really good job of just walling out Falco, but I think Falco's damage output is just too good. Like once he actually gets in, it, like his damage output is just too good, and I also think his edge guarding is pretty solid on them. Ness Falco, I think, is even. Um, I think. I mean, I feel like everyone can edge guard Ness pretty well, so that's not that big of a deal. Um, but I think Falco's damage output like does a lot for him in the matchup, and like edge guarding edge guarding nest still still is pretty important like like even if even if that's just like a flaw that the character has i feel like the fact that falco can do it pretty well helps him a lot in the matchup um i mean of course ness kills really early and yada yada falco shulk put here um It's kind of interesting because Falco actually does really well at fighting Shulk in a lot of spots where you wouldn't think he could. Like, um, because of the startup on Shulk's attacks, neutral isn't that bad, even though Shulk has a lot of range. And Falco does a pretty good job of edgeguarding Shulk, but the reason why I, 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 I think this is probably a Shulk winning matchup is, um, Monado Arts. I think the fact that Shulk can just, you know, Monado Arts smash, you die early. Um, 
Well, not our jump honestly doesn't matter that much off stage because even if you use jump, Falco can still be in a spot to edge guard you. So that's not that big of a deal. But I think Smash Hard is still like incredibly strong and Shield Art at certain percents. It, it, it really depends. Like at lower percents, Shield Art is, is scary. Shield Art is also, I mean, Shield Art can also prevent Falco from getting up to back air. So there's that too. Um, at mid percents though, Falco can actually like destroy Shulk for using Shield Art. He, he, can, he can like combo him in Shield Art, which is pretty cool. Um, Falco Puff. Oops, I'm gonna like that. Um, hmm. I'll put it here. Um, in case you're wondering, because I feel like a lot of people kind of compare Kirby and Jigglypuff because they kind of, you know, they're both kind of the same in terms of how they're shaped and stuff. Um, the reason why I put Puff here and <laughs> not in slight advantage with Kirby is that I feel like Puff's air mobility makes it incredibly difficult to actually um, fight, fight her in a lot of spots. Or like it's, it's easier for her to, to get away in a lot of spots that uh, Kirby doesn't have. Um, the other thing is that I think ooh, I think uh, Puff does a, a, a way better job of edge guarding Falco than, than Kirby does, even though he has his down here. I think like Puff's mobility combined with her uh, active hitboxes make it pretty hard for Falco to come back in a lot of spots. Um, I want to check something really quick. Okay, so one big advantage Falco has against Puff is that uh, if Puff pounds Falco's shield at high percent, like if, if Puff does like the, the jump pound, <laughs> that's like guaranteed up smash out of shield. So, I mean, if you're a Puff, you should not be doing jump pound against Falco because <laughs> he'll, he'll just up smash you. Um. I mean, Puff's also really light. Hmm. Actually, no, I'm putting it here. <laughs> Falco definitely wins. <laughs> Thinking about it more. Um. This one, I honestly don't know much about. Um, I mean, I have played Zanyu Sephiroth, which, I mean, it's actually one of the characters he's taking seriously. So, like, solid practice, but I still am unsure because there, there's definitely more stuff that could be optimized with Sephiroth, but I think right now it's even. The hard thing about fighting Sephiroth is just, it's his range and his edge guarding. Um, I think Edge, I think Sephiroth is overall the best edge guard in the game, and it's kind of brutal when you have a recovery like Falco's. So a lot of the con a lot of the time when I'm off stage as Falco, it just feels like I should be dead in in, in like in like most most situ situations. Um, that being said, Sephiroth being so tall makes him like really easy to shield poke. And he's also really light, so it doesn't take that much damage to actually end the stock. But yeah, well, that that's kind of my initial thoughts on the character. I mean, I'll once I up to my matchup again, I'll definitely be able to give you more input on the matchup. But that's what I think currently. Um.
Hero, I think, is even. Um, honestly, the, like, Hero's just like a freaking... It's like a dice roll. I mean, because Hero the character actually, but you know, Hero, like, <laughs> playing Hero is just RNG itself, but... One of the most annoying things about this matchup is, um... When Hero puts on Bounce, it's really, like, it's... You can't, you can't combo him as Falco, so that's, that's actually pretty big. Um, although, like, that, that is the case, I feel like Falco can edgeguard him pretty well outside of Hero getting Zoom. And um, Hero also doesn't have, like, a super, super crazy common game. He kind of just hits you away and then you fight him again in neutral. Um, yeah, I mean... I, I don't know what else to, what else to say. This, this matchup is just... Uh, it's just... It's, it's really RNG. Zelda Falco. I think Falco wins. Um, Falco does a pretty good job of, like, fighting Knight, just because if Zelda ever charges it, he could just shoot a laser. So... It, it either, it either forces Zelda to release Knight earlier in a spot where she probably isn't going to hit Falco if he's far away, or she just takes the hit and I mean, she gets damage and neutral's pretty much her set. So that could be annoying to deal with as Zelda. The other thing is Falco. Var, Zelda's one of the characters where Falco can get down through combos, so kind of makes it easier to combo her regardless of the stage like you don't need platforms to get a lot of high damaging combos on her um yeah honestly like the scariest thing about zelda in my opinion is just that she can kill really early with with lightning kick or yeah lightning kick and or getting like a sweet spot down or off stage that that in my opinion is just like the the, the scariest part about zelda i mean sometimes i'll be too Mewtwo. Honestly, this is kind of like... It's kind of like Falco Sephiroth, except I feel like Sephiroth just has... Has one, he has better edge guarding. Or Sephiroth has better edge guarding. Um, and he has, easy, he has better ways to keep out um, Falco. So that's why I put, put this there. I mean, there, there's definitely other things that Mewtwo does better than Sephiroth, but this is doing a quick TLDR. Mm. Corn Falco, I think, is even. Um, there's this weird thing where, I don't know why, but for some reason, when Falco up throws Corrin, Corrin gets out of like up throw like incredibly easy. It's really, really weird. Like, yeah, I think it's the way Corrin's hurt box is shifted when you up throw him, so it makes comboing him a lot harder at, at, at uh, like mid percent. So you kind of lose the yeah, you kind of lose that 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 ability. Um, but edge guarding Corrin is actually deceptively good for Falco. You would you would think because um, Corrin's wings. Or like as big as they are, you can kind of, uh, or you would get hit out of it. But it's kind of the same thing as Peach. I feel like because of how Falco dares, he kind of just he can he can dodge the uh, the wings and then he'll trade with it. Or sometimes he just um, cleanly beat it out. Like I just you just hit Horn in his head and that's it. Um. Yeah, I would say the other thing about about this matchup as as like fighting fighting Corrin is although Corrin can wall you out like pretty solidly, I don't think Corrin's combo game is that crazy good. So you're not gonna be taking that much damage from getting hit by Corrin. So there's like that that benefit. Although you can die really early, like Corrin's kill power is kind of scary.
Robin Falco. I think Falco wins. Um, you can kind of harass Robin from far away, so you can kind of make it hard for Robin to charge their their neutral beat. Um, you can also reflect it, although reflecting, well, reflecting reflecting it's good if you can. Um, yeah, no, it's really good if you can. But I was gonna say you can also reflect their side B, but. Reflecting side view doesn't really do much because when you reflect it, it just goes, it goes, uh, it probably won't hit them. Um, yeah, it probably won't hit them because it goes, if I remember right, it goes like up. So it's, it'll just like flat out, like, miss them. Um,. Yeah, I don't have much else to add. <laughs> sorry, sorry if like my my opinions are just getting like a lot more like one wordy, but I, <laughs> I've been doing this for like it's almost been two hours, so I'm just, yeah, I'm just gonna try to power through this and just give you like my final opinions. Like I don't want to just like leave and not give my thoughts on some of the matchups. Um, Falco Banjo. I feel like Falco combos Banjo really well, edge guards him. I feel like, yeah, that's pretty much a lot of Falco's matchups right here. He just combos them really well, edge guards them. Um, Min Min Falco, I think, is currently even. Currently. I should put it here. Because Min Min can also edge guard. Or Min Min's combo game is actually scary, so I put it here. And Min Min's neutral is incredibly good. Um, I definitely need to play the matchup more, but I feel like it's not out of the realm of possibility for Falco to like consistently zero to death Miniman. Like I'm not saying he has like a guaranteed zero to, zero to death combo, but basically what happens is you you combo Miniman off stage and then you just like get a read and edge guard her, edge guard her and she's dead. So I think a lot of the matchups can go with Falco, Min Min. Um, let's see. Falco Gunner, I think Falco wins. Kind of, kind of for the, like, kind of for similar reasons, I think. Gunner walls out Falco really well, but doesn't really do that much damage to him. And then Falco can combo an edge guard Gunner really well. Same thing for Sword. I'll just drop that there too. Um, Falco Pac Man, I think, is even. I think Falco Pac Man is actually like. Pac-Man's kind of hard to edge guard in my opinion. I don't know. If, I don't know if it's just. <laughs> I don't know if it's just me playing online and I. Yeah, it, it could honestly just be online, but yeah, I feel like Pac-Man's actually like deceptively hard to edge guard because he just he can recover from so far away, and like daring trampoline. Like when when Pac-Man like up bees to the ledge, if you dare him, and it's not like the third jump of trampoline, he just like, he'll just bounce back into it and, and come back. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I definitely need to play this matchup more. Um, Falco Lucario, I think Falco wins. Um, Falco kind of just combos Lucario and kills him. Uh, Falco Mega Man, definitely on the fence about. I, 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 I'm leaning more towards Falco wins, but I think um, this might be an even matchup. Pellets are incredibly annoying to deal with, but Falco, in my opinion, does a pretty good job of not only comboing Mega Man, but also edge guarding him. <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> um, same thing for Falco Olimar. Um, yeah. 
The other thing about Olimar is um Yeah, like I yeah, I feel like outside of the other really tiny characters, he's the easiest to edge to edge guard in my opinion, so that's why I put him here. Rosa Falco. I think um I'm thinking, do I want to put this in even? Do I want to put this in even? Yeah, I'll put it in even. Um, yeah, so Rosa walls out Falco really well. I think Rosa also edge guards Falco really well. That's what I was thinking about. I was just thinking like, how well does Falco get edge guarded by Rosa? And I think it's it's pretty pretty good. Um, but Rosa, tall, light. Also, her recovery is kind of pretty linear, so easy for Ed Falco to edge guard. Like, really, really easy for Falco to edge guard. Um, we fit. I think Falco beats them. Um, I would definitely need to play the matchup more, but I actually think Falco doesn't do bad against Weef in a neutral. Um, and then combs them hard, edge guards, edge guards them hard. Um, the scariest thing about Weef it is definitely when they go into deep breathing and, you know, they uh, <laughs> do Weef it stuff to you. Um, Duck Hunt Falco. I think Falco wins. This is a matchup I feel like Falco has to play really slow, but. Yeah, once you once you once you play play at a slow pace, I think he wins. Especially now with the uh, side B buff, I think it's really it's 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 much more consistent for him to punish um, Duck Hunt for throwing Can out and then like getting follow-ups from it. Like in neutral, like if if, if Duck Hunt does like grounded grounded Can throw, Falco could just you know be there side B him. Same thing if uh, Gun or if uh, Duck Hunt does uh, Gunman, he could just side B and punish him for doing it, and then. Like its recovery is kind of exploitable. Not kind of, it is exploitable. Um, Falco Lucas. I feel like Falco wins. I mean, this is honestly a matchup that I feel like I, I just need. I need to play more, but I'm just gonna. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw it here. Actually, I'll put it here. This is definitely a matchup I don't really know much about compared to like compared to other ones, but I feel like Falco wins. Um, yeah, I feel like neutral is actually easier than it is versus Ness. And um, He can he can recover from farther away, but I don't think it matters. He also has a tether, so tether definitely helps him out a lot. But yeah, I think even our Falco ones. Um, am I missing Yoshi? I think I think this is even. I feel like this is definitely a matchup I need to play more, but. Yeah, I think I think it's even. Falco does a really good job of like fighting or edge guarding up B. It, I mean, if Yoshi's at low percent and he double jumps on stage, he's gonna come back. But if Yoshi if Yoshi uses uses up B to recover, I think he does a really good job of um, you know breaking the egg and then hitting him hitting Yoshi with forward air. Um, also, Yoshi is obnoxious in neutral. <laughs> Absolutely obnoxious. Because of Nairn, of course. Nairn is crazy air mobility and speed. So it's hard to pin the character down. And then, of course, double jump. He can just jump, double jump out of combos, which it's not that big of a deal because Falco can up tilt landing. So if Yoshi lands on top of Falco, he should, you know, hurt him for it. Um, I think I only I have three characters left. Um, man, I thought I actually think is even. Um, 
if I were to if I were to compare neutral, at least like in terms of burst range, the the closest character that compares, in my opinion, is Fox. You know, Fox dash attack, Midnight dash attack. So Midnight has a really good burst range, like in that spot. Um, he doesn't have good, in my opinion, his jump in neutral isn't that good though. So it's like a lot more linear, where you're gonna see Midnight just use a lot of a lot of dash attacks to try to get follow ups and stuff like that. Um, he also does a really good job of edge guarding Taco with, with his NATO. Yeah, he does a really good job of edge guarding Taco because of his NATO and um, his uh, strong backer. Neutral is also pretty good too, and he has ladders and bridges to carry Falk off, off stage. Um, ice climbers. Could even our Falk advantage. Um, I wouldn't say Falco does like an amazing job of, sep of separating them, but Four throws is okay at doing it, I guess. Um, yeah, I, I feel like Nana could definitely get, a, get in the way of a lot, a lot of stuff, but I do think once once you get them off stage, it it becomes a lot easier. Like Falco Fair just kind of. Covers a lot of situations they can edge guard in, especially if, if climber if or if uh, they do the upbeat tether thing. Falco can just hit 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 Popo before he or the the uh, computer or the uh, human player before he grabs a ledge. Once the AI grabs it, um, and then last but but not least, we have Ike, which I think kind of like climbers. He's evener. He slightly wins. I really don't know. <laughs> it's really, really hard to determine how good Ike is after the buffs, even now, because man, I I just feel like I feel like off stage, off stage. If you can force Ike to recover low, it can be really bad for him. But at the same time, I think Ike on stage is actually like pretty good. Especially now that he has like a, a, a better down tilt for starting cobbles and stuff. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but that is it, guys. If you if you manage to stay throughout the entirety of this, I I appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did, please drop a like. And if you really like this and you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe. It helps me out a lot. But. That is it for this video, so thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.